Hello, how are you doing today? We are going to unbox the Asdome Streaming Media Mirror Dash Cam, and this is the PG02S, and this gives you a front camera and a rear camera, and the ability to look at both separately, or one of uh, the front or one of the rear at the same time. It also records front and rear, and uh, gives you some backup lines for parking, and uh, let me get into the box here, and we'll take a look and see what we have. Okay, and it looks like this model comes with a screen protector also. We're going to take that screen protector out of the way so it doesn't get damaged. Put that over in the box. And as you can see, the mirror's got a protective cover on it. And it keeps it from getting scratched while you're doing the install. And uh, I'm going to take that out of the box. Okay, and as you can see, this particular backup mirror cam goes over yours. It's not very thick pretty thin. Over on the left side here, this is the front camera, and that front camera does telescope in and out so it can fit around your mirror, whatever's best. We'll slide that back in so there's no damage. And then these two here are the clips that use uh, some special neoprene rubber bands to go around your existing mirror and hold them in place. Now the bottom here, you'll see you've got a plug-in for the cable for the other camera, then there's also another plug-in over here for an SD card for memory. And then you've got another input over here for a side camera if you want to add a third camera to it. And then there's also the plug-in for power. And that's going to run off of a USB cord or a cigarette lighter plug. And then on the other end here you've got your on-off switch. And let me put this down and we'll get the rest of the parts out. The first accessory we have here is the GPS pickup signal antenna. And this is going to get attached on the front windshield. You'll run this cable across the headliner. And we'll do an install video on it later so you can see step by step. And then this here picks up your GPS coordinates. And on that mirror, it's going to give you your speed while you're driving. And it's going to remember the location coordinates if you ever get into an accident. When it freezes that video with the G-Shock sensor, it'll record the GPS coordinates where the incident happens. Next, you've got your plug-in, and this is going to plug into your cigarette lighter adapter, and it's got a USB plug in the back, and that USB plug in the back allows you to still plug your phone charger in without losing that outlet, so that this wire can go up to the top of the camera and give it power. You can also hardwire this. They sell an adapter if you want to do that and wire it to the car so it's hot all the time. Next in the box, we've got the actual backup camera. And that's this right here, and that is a wide-angle lens, so if it's mounted in the back by your license plate, you can actually see all the way out to either side, almost 180 degrees, I believe it's 160. And then on the top here, you'll notice there's some mounting holes. You can take this off of there and actually screw it on, or use double-sided tape, which does come in the box. And then that just plugs right in on top with this audio jack for vi I mean, video jack for video and then you've got a power wire and a ground wire that you'll wire to the backup light in the back of the vehicle so that way when you put the vehicle in reverse it'll automatically put the back camera on and that's where you've got the guidance lines when that's not hooked up or you're not in reverse this will still work as a camera if you select rear camera from there and that way while you're moving forward you can actually see what's behind you in your blind spots now this camera comes with a 32 gig card here and uh, it's supposed to be 64 gig so they're sending a second card out to me now but the 32 is going to work for the time being. And then you do get these two different rubber adapters and these are the ones you use to hold the mirror on. And uh, That's the shorter set, here's the longer set. If you've got one of the larger rear view mirrors that has the built in OnStar, you're going to use the larger ones. If you've got a flatter mirror like an older vehicle, you're going to use the shorter ones. And right here we've got a bag of accessories. There's the uh, the two wipes we're used to clean before you put the double-sided tape on. One cleans the area, one activates the glue. You've got several pieces of the double-sided tape for install. There's a plastic tool here that's designed to take the cable and plug that into the headliner and push it back there without doing any damage, without having to remove the headliner. And they also give you that blue cloth here for clearing the mirror surface, just like you'd use on your glass. Okay, now here's the mirror in the vehicle. Like I said, I just had to take those two rubber bands and hook them on the back and latch it around. And as you can see, it's in place pretty well. I adjusted the camera all the way out. Let's hit the on button and see actually what happens. 
Oh wow, camera comes on, looks pretty good. Let me shut the light off so there's no glare. Now it is dark here. Uh, when I tried doing this in the daylight, it was nothing but reflection on the mirror. So I waited till the sun went down so I just get a better picture of the mirror in the car. I did not hook up the backup camera yet for the back. I just have the front camera hooked up and you can see that on there now. That's a, a pretty good visual for dark. I mean, I'm going to move this over. That's my camera with a light on. That's the mirror camera and you can see how much brighter it is. I think this will make a nice big difference for the backup once it's on. I'll be able to actually see. Because with the eye issue, seeing out the right side is nearly impossible with the patch on. So that's the reason I picked up this camera. Uh, I'm going to do a longer video later with everything all hooked up as I run the camera back, testing it all out and take it for a drive and see how it works. But uh, for the time being, you can see this video here shows that in less than 10 minutes, you can have this camera out of the box and installed.